So, it has been pretty much two years to the day since I got Kiara. And uh, I wanted to share a little bit about what it's been like living with an African dream for two years. Okay. <clears throat> well, to be honest, yes or no it, it really has been fun. It's been entertaining. Let's play a joke. Hi, me. It's been amusing. I'll share a few stories with you. Um, she just does the funniest things. I just she just makes me laugh. It just just makes me laugh. Hey. Hey, look, look, Kiara. Oh, now she's gonna look at me like I'm stupid. <laughs> Come here, you. When she wants to play, she does this up and down thing. It's just, it's funny. It's so funny. And when we're in bed, I watching TV, and I, because I usually, she's usually like this, actually. Oh, right here when we're watching TV, and uh, she's usually right up against me, and I usually just kind of pat her like this, and if I stop, and she's probably not gonna do it right now, but if I stop and I move my hand, she'll reach over and grab my hand and put it back, or if she wants me to rub her head, she'll grab my hand and put it on her head, or if she wants me to rub her feet, she'll push my hand out of the way, and then she'll put her foot on my hand like that, until I rub her hand. Of course, right now we're not really in the in the mode of relaxing and watching TV and getting ready for bed, so she's not really not really going to do it. But I wish I could get that on camera because it's it's quite it's quite comical. Sometimes I'll I'll stop rubbing her feet or stop stop petting her just because I know she's going to grab my hand and put it back. She's my baby. Here, come get your gleamer. She just got done eating, so she's probably got food in her pouch because I see that she dropped a little on me. But um, <clears throat> I'll say that it, it's been it's been interesting. Yes, um, no question. I think I picked the wrong toy for her to play with while I'm doing this video because my answer is absolutely that toy is awfully loud. Stay over here. But, um, <laughs> you know, you may wonder um, if monkeys have feelings or if they can display empathy. And um, maybe. I'll tell you, I'll tell you a story. Um, Ask me a yes or no so question. for a while there, um, you may have noticed that we didn't do videos quite as frequently as we did that first year. And it wasn't because, you know, she got older and lost the cuteness or, no, stay up here. No, stay up here. It wasn't that at all. Um, what it was is that when Kiara was almost a year old, my daughter, my human daughter, was diagnosed with cancer. And um, I took it really hard. And... Uh, for a couple of months there, it was pretty bad. She was diagnosed with breast cancer. I'm all ears. And uh, it was triple negative, which is an extremely aggressive form. So there was a couple of months there where uh, she was pretty much bedridden and um, it was pretty bad. And Oh, you got food on you. And uh, I cried a lot, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, not so much in front of my daughter. I tried to stay strong for her, but um, you know, I cried a lot, and Kiara, she wasn't quite a year old. She would come up to me and just gently wipe the tears from my eyes and hug me, which made me cry even more. It was, <laughs> it just made it worse. But, um, you know, you do the things, you just wipe mommy's tears. So, 
So I'm here to tell you that yes, they, they can display empathy. She knew that it was really hard on me and um, she, uh, she just was so lovey, you know, and, um, and it's those things, you know, that and um, the cute things she does, the funny things she does, you know, those are the things that make people say, oh, I want a monkey, I want one, I want one. And, um, but you know, it's, it's not all fun and games. Um, it's tiresome. It's a lot of work. Um, I clean up messes daily. Um, not just diaper, not just diaper changes and that type of thing. But I mean, I clean up messes. Um, she, uh, she spills things. She breaks things. Do you break things? She ruins things. Huh. Makes diaper changes. Lots of diaper changes. Lots of dirty diaper changes. They have lots of energy. So it's it's tiresome. It's a lot of work. And um, it's expensive. Um, you know, your your annual vet bills alone. You know, our good 300 bucks just for a regular checkup. And we live in the Midwest, um, which is a fairly inexpensive, um, um, you know, to live. And uh, I'm all ears. just to take her into the vet no, for her annual checkup, hurts. no, you stay, uh, with blood work. And um, yes, I love you. And vaccines or whatnot, you're looking at 300 bucks. And then I've had to take her a couple of times for emergencies, and those run into the hundreds, you know, close to thousands. Um, I spent a lot of money on food, snacks, monkey biscuits, toys, diapers, formula. So it's kind of, it's not only expensive to, to purchase a monkey, but it's expensive to maintain. So. Um, but the main thing I think I wanted to share was um, the challenges that we've had over the last few years. Now, I'll just start this by saying she's a really good monkey. She really is. But she's a monkey. Um, we've had challenges. Three main challenges. Um, one of them, pretty serious. One of them, not so serious, more irritating. And the third one is a more recent challenge that we're going to be working on. So the, um, the not so serious challenge has been diapers, mm -hmm. diapers up until she was a year old, didn't have a problem. She kept a diaper on, not a problem. And she turned a year. No, you're going to stay. You're going to stay right here. And she turned a year old, she figured out how to get those diapers off. And she got them off quick. As soon as I would put a diaper on her, before I'd even, we'd even walk out of her, her bathroom, sometimes she would have that diaper off. So, I was like, okay, what am I going to do? Well, I'll get some diaper covers. So that's what we did. We got diaper covers. And that worked great for about, what, maybe three months or so? And then she figured out how to get off the Velcro. She was strong enough at that point to get that Velcro off. So she would take the Velcro off and then get the diaper off. And that was a challenge. So after a while of doing that, then I was like, okay, so I sewed little buckles on. These little buckles, I sewed them on all her diaper covers. And that worked great for about three months. And she can't get the buckles off because of the location um, and they're hard to get. Um, but what she can do is she can undo the Velcro enough so that the buckles just kind of dangle on her and she can slip that off and get her diaper off. And that was, that was a challenge because I just didn't know what else to do. I, I tried everything and I can't let her go diaper free all the time. Um, so, uh, so then I sewed these buckles on, there are these little, uh, belt loops on to each diaper cover. So 
the diaper cover goes through the belt loop and then it buckles and this has been going great for a few quite a few months now she can't get it off um, so they're smart they're very smart just when I think I won she outsmarts me huh you outsmart me <clears throat> okay so now for the uh, the more serious challenge um, I did not have this in any of the videos um, that first year and there's a couple of reasons why um, I didn't um, people can be a little critical of others and um, I don't deal well with negativity and so for me it was just easier on my psyche to leave it out but I'm gonna share it with you uh, probably the most serious challenge I've had with her was biting um, and you know when I was doing all my research before I ever even got her um, you know I'm thinking to myself well my monkey's not gonna bite me because I'm really good with the animals my monkey's not gonna bite me and I got her and she bit me the very first night um, which you know that's that's understandable she was a baby she was scared you know that type of thing and uh, so uh, so I just worked with her on it you know for a good three or four months I would do the tap on the nose I would tell her no I would let her know I was upset tried the timeout which you may be thinking timeout for a monkey yeah right actually timeout works really good it's quite effective for certain things um, because she wants to be out she wants to be out she wants to be um, with me she wants to be you know um, entertained um, and when she's in trouble and I put her in her room whoo, she throws a little temper tantrum I mean, it doesn't happen very often anymore because she doesn't get in trouble trouble but I tried the timeout that didn't work either I didn't know what else to do and I was at my wits end and she was biting me all the time not just play biting I mean when she would get mad or I would do something she didn't like or I would try to pick her up when she didn't want to be picked up uh, she would bite me and and even you know I got her when she was really young she was you know three weeks old and they have teeth even at that age and uh, she would draw blood I mean, my hands were bloody all the time and I thought I've got to get this under control I've got to I've got to get this taken care of and I just didn't know what else to do and finally one day she bit me so hard that I didn't need stitches but it was pretty good it was a pretty good bite um, and I just had it and I grabbed her arm and a part of me is ashamed to admit it but I bit her I bit her hard um, I didn't draw blood um, but I bit her really hard and she screamed and I cried and it took about I want to say three more times of that happening and she hasn't been me since now she play bites and I let her play bite and that's okay because I let the dogs play bite you know but I taught her to not bite down all the way so play biting is okay and then sometimes sometimes when she gets mad at me which she does get mad at me sometimes when she gets mad at me she starts to bite she acts like she's gonna bite but she doesn't actually bite down and I'm okay with that uh, and let me explain why you may not agree and even maybe professionals may not agree but the reason why I don't stop her from that is because she needs an out she needs to um, be able to express herself if she's angry and that's how she's letting me know so as long as she doesn't actually bite down I don't make a big deal about it I say something about it you know and I tell her you know that that's not very nice that makes me upset you know that those type of things and I think she understands a lot of what I say and she knows when she does it that she's not supposed to do it but uh, but I don't make a big deal about that um, but she hasn't bit me like really bit me for over I don't know a year well, she's two now and I think she was around six or seven months when I finally broke her of actually biting um, so yeah so now I don't that's not something that I would recommend you do um, 
But my thinking on it is that if my child was biting me, I would bite my child back too. You know, because once she realized what it felt like, I think that's when she was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I don't like that. And it worked. So whether it's right or wrong, whether you agree or, or don't agree, um, that's what I did. And that's what worked. And the third challenge that actually is a current challenge that I'm not going to tackle yet, and I'll explain why. The third major challenge I'm having with her is that um, a few months ago, last summer, um, I reconnected with my high school sweetheart that I hadn't seen in 30, 32 years. There's 32 years, actually. And um, we're actually an item now. When I got her, I was single, had been single for years, planned on being single for the rest of my life. Um, so, um, so anyway, um, so we're an item now. He doesn't live here. He lives in Oklahoma. Uh, so we only see each other maybe once a month, once every, you know, six weeks or so. But, um, I don't have a problem with her. She loves him. She loves people because I've socialized her since the day I got her. She loves all people. She'll crawl up anybody's arm and groom them. She just loves people. Um, but the problem that we have is that he can't get within about six inches of my face. Um, one time I had put her in her room and he was right there and I leaned over and just kind of gave him a peck on the cheek and she reacted like I'd never seen her react before. Uh, she went crazy. Um, she threw herself, lunged herself at the, um, the, uh, the little gate door thing um that i made um and uh and she just started shaking it and screaming um and then like that next day i thought you know i'm, I'm gonna do it when she's out i'm gonna kind of hold her away and um and you know he gave me a peck on the cheek and she went crazy um she started to attack and when i say attack i don't mean that in the sense that you may be thinking you know animals attacking she didn't attack to kill she didn't even bite but she lunged at him and uh, <clears throat> that is uh, something that we're going to work on, but it, I feel that it's not going to do any good to work on it right now because he doesn't live here. It's just going to be, because like with her, you know, training, training is a constant thing. Like this stay and come here and stay over here, that type of thing, that's constant. You know, it's, it's not something that I train her and then she remembers it and then just does it. It doesn't work like that. Um, you have to constantly be working on it. And um, so it's not going to really do a lot of good, and it might just confuse her um, if we'd only work on it, you know, once a month or once every six weeks or whatever. So I'm going to wait and do it um, when he moves up here later in the year. And I'll update you on that. And I have a couple of ideas of how I'm going to do it um, that I think will work, um, but I will, uh, that'll be a separate video later down the line. So, but that is something that um, is very serious. Um, because I can't have her attacking him, um, you know, or, or, you know, being all distraught over him kissing me. Um, so, yeah, so that's our third major challenge that we're going to be working on, huh? That's a third major challenge. Yes, it is. So, yeah, so um, it has been fun, um, but it's not all fun and games. It's a lot of work. It's not always fun. It's not always easy. No. Huh. Yeah, definitely not always easy. I spent a lot of time with her. Um, it's changed my life a lot. For the better. For the most part. But, uh, but that's what it's been like the last two years. Um, I mean, I do apologize for not having as many videos out last year. Um, but uh, uh, after a few months when my daughter did get better and she got done with chemo and, and that type of thing, um, then the pandemic hit and, um, my business kind of took a nosedive on that for a few months. And, um, so I was trying to figure out what I was going to do and, uh, keep things afloat. But, uh, but everything's kind of back to normal now. My daughter's doing really good. She had her surgery. She had her mastectomy. She healed up really well. She's going to be having surgery again, um, for her reconstructive surgery, but, but she's doing really good. And, um, the business is back to doing good, and uh, so my plan is 
to um, you know do more videos this year um, at least maybe you know once every other week or so um, I don't monetize this channel um, so I don't make money off of it I don't make money off of her I didn't get her to make money off of her uh, so um, so I do still have to work um, a little bit on my business so that um, I tell her all the time so I can put a roof over her head and monkey biscuits in her belly huh I'll put monkey biscuits in your belly. I'm going to take a good barrel. But 90% of my work is done from home. So I'm with her all the time. And her, her room is right off of my office. Um, with the cage door, I've removed the, uh, the real door. It's a, a walk-in closet and put a cage. So I can see her and talk to her and interact with her throughout the day. But, um, but anyway, so my thing is, is that I plan on, you know, doing more videos this year than I did last year. Um, okay, can you stop that, please? <sighs> she loves to groom me. Which is good, actually. That's a really good sign. Um, because that's what they do in the wild to each other. It's, it's kind of... Um, it's actually how they build bonds. Um, and so she grooms me constantly. Yeah, she grooms me constantly. And I'll even groom her. Let's see if she'll let me. Ugh, well, it's wrapped up here. I think it's important that we groom each other, that not only that I allow her to groom me, but that I groom her. Um, because like I said, then in the wild, that's what they do. That's how they build the bonds. Um, that's also how they um, determine their, um, their structural hierarchy in the troops. But, uh, but it's, it's, yeah, she's constantly grooming me. I love you. I do love you. Yes, I love you. You little girl. So that's kind of what it's been like, um, living with an African green. Um, I'm very fortunate in that um, she, uh, she hasn't really displayed any serious aggressiveness, um, anything that I would consider serious other than the challenges I've already mentioned. Um, but, uh, you know, she's hitting pu puberty. She's two now, and for the female African greens, it's usually between two and three uh, is when they uh, start hitting puberty. So things could change. I don't know if they will or not. I hope that they don't change for the worse. Um, but if they do, I plan on documenting it and um, letting you know in the videos. I think it's important that I had a... Um, a viewer you know leave a comment one time about um, uh, youtubers leaving out certain things in their videos and stuff and and yeah I, I left out some stuff uh, the stuff where she was getting into stuff or, or you know acting up or biting um, but I'm not I'm not doing that and I haven't done that for quite a few months I've been lem she hasn't been biting me but I mean when she acts up or whatever I've been leaving it in the video so I'm not editing that stuff out anymore it's important that those that want to know what it's like having a monkey, that they actually see the whole thing. So um, if she turns aggressive, um, if she starts to seriously act out as she's going through puberty, I will leave that in the videos uh, for you to see. Um, but uh, but hopefully, hopefully that doesn't happen, but we'll see. We shall see. But, uh, but anyways, yeah, it's, it's, it's been, it's been fun. I have never for one inkling of a second regretted getting her. Um, she's my baby. Um, she's more than, she's not, she's not even a pet. I'm not even going to call her a pet. She's not a pet. She's a member of my family and, uh, she's my companion. She's my baby. And, um, strangely, oddly, we, we actually, we communicate. And I know you're thinking, uh-huh, yeah, right. Sure you do. No, we do. We, we have a, a communication. I, I, I know what she's thinking most of the time. Um, I can anticipate most of her behavior, probably 95% of her behavior. 
I know how she's going to react to things, and I react accordingly. Um, if I know it's going to upset her, then I try to avoid the situation, that type of thing. But anyway, um, yeah, it's it's been fun. It's been challenging. It's been interesting. It's been comical. It's it's just been a whirlwind having her. Um, and like I said, I don't regret it one second. She's a good girl, but she's a monkey, and uh, and she's a wild animal, and I acknowledge that, and um, I don't pretend that she's not. Um, so that's what it's been like. And you notice how chill she is right now? That's because it's almost bedtime, and she's had her dinner. And, because I knew better than to try to do this video during the day when she has all her energy. Because in the evening, she kind of chills out, calms down, winds down for the night. But, yeah, that's what it's been like for two years. Huh. She's two years old. It's hard to believe. It's crazy. Um, I am working on a video right now where um, I'm compiling a bunch of little snippet videos that I've done over the last two years um, that never got posted for various reasons. Mainly probably because they most of them were really short and I'm just like, eh, it's not really worth posting. So um, what I'm doing is kind of a timeline from when she was little, little until, you know, more recently, little snippets of videos. Um, it's pretty long. So far, it's like it looks like it's going to be around 22 minutes or so. But I'm working on that, and I hope to have that ready and posted for you, um, you know, within the week or so. And I've got some other things that I'm working on as well. And I'm also working on um, kind of jotting down some notes, uh, some things that I want to talk about uh, if you're thinking about getting a monkey. Um, because there's a lot that goes into it. And um, there's a lot of things that I want to share and that I want to talk about um, if you're interested in getting a monkey. Because I, I hear this a lot and I, I get comments a lot. Oh, I want one. Where did you get her? Um, I'm going to get me one. Um, those type of things. And there's, there's quite a few things that need to be taken into consideration before you get one. So I want to do a video of that. Um, and, 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 and just so that you know, I'm, I'm not an expert. I don't claim to be an expert. Um, I don't have years of experience in, in raising monkeys. Um, I've wanted one for 48 years since I was two. I got her shortly after I turned 50. Um, but um, but I, I, I'm not an expert and I don't pretend to be. Uh, so the things that I share with you are just my experiences and my experiences with an African green because she's the first monkey I've ever had. I don't have other experiences to draw upon. Um, but I've watched a lot of monkey videos. I've done a lot of research. And then when I say research, I don't mean just, you know, people that own monkeys. I mean actual research, um, scientific research journals and those type of things on monkey behavior and those type of things. But, but I don't know at all. Um, so take, take, you know, take what I say with a grain of salt. And, um, and if I say something wrong or I do something wrong, I'm pretty sure that there are people out there that will let me know. So, Okay. Are we done? Shall we get ready for bed? Mm, are you getting tired? Are you getting tired? You're such a good girl. You really are a good girl. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, Google girl. But see how she, she, she doesn't even bite me when I do this, and she hates this. She hates it when I do that, huh? She's like, don't restrain me. Don't restrain me. Oh, don't do that. I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, so that's our uh, that's our two years together.